Have you ever been on a flight, looked at the flight tracker, and noticed the plane circling over a destination? You might have wondered why the aircraft wasn't landing right away. This situation, known as a holding pattern, is a common yet often misunderstood aspect of aviation. Holding patterns ensure that flights remain safe and orderly even when unexpected challenges arise, like bad weather. While they might seem inconvenient, they're a vital part of keeping the skies safe. So why do planes sometimes hold even when the weather is clear? And how do pilots manage these intricate maneuvers without affecting the movement of other planes? In this video, we will explore the reasons behind aircraft holding patterns, how they are executed, and the role they play in modern air travel. So sit back and join us as we unravel why planes sometimes take a few extra loops before landing. An aircraft holding pattern is a predefined maneuver designed to temporarily delay an aircraft's arrival at a specific point, such as an airport or waypoint. It's essentially a controlled, methodical way of keeping planes safely separated and organized when immediate landing is not possible. A holding pattern is typically performed in the shape of an elongated oval, commonly referred to as a racetrack pattern. This pattern consists of two straight legs connected by two 180-degree turns. Pilots follow specific instructions from air traffic control regarding where and how to hold. These instructions include the holding fix, a geographic location where the pattern begins, the altitude to maintain, the direction of the turns, usually right hand, and the duration of each leg, often measured in time or distance. For example, a pilot might be instructed to fly one minute legs, meaning each straight segment of the racetrack is flown for exactly 60 seconds before turning. Pilots must maneuver the aircraft while following stringent guidelines when executing a holding pattern. However, they can enter the holding fix and related information into the flight management system thanks to advanced navigation systems installed in modern cockpits, which streamline the procedure. After that, the plane follows the pattern on its own, saving the pilot time and guaranteed precision. Pilots are taught to carry out these movements by hand nonetheless, in the event that the system fails or other special circumstances. Wind plays a critical role in executing holding patterns, as it can push the aircraft off course. Pilots must account for wind by adjusting their heading during each leg in the turns. This technique, known as wind correction, ensures the plane stays on the intended racetrack and doesn't drift outside the designated airspace. Precision is crucial, especially in busy skies where multiple aircraft may be holding at different altitudes within the same vicinity. It can be difficult to see a holding pattern from the ground, but from the viewpoint of a passenger, the aircraft may appear to be making big circles in the sky. In actuality, the pattern is strictly regulated and created to optimize both effectiveness and security. So what are some of the reasons for a holding pattern? Aircraft holding patterns are employed for several reasons, each aimed at maintaining safety and efficiency in the complex system of air travel. Unfavorable weather is one of the most frequent causes of holding patterns. Air traffic controllers must enforce extra distance between planes for safety when bad weather disrupts the regular flow of arrivals and departures. Pilots are forced to use instrument approaches rather than visual ones when visibility is poor because of fog, severe rain, or snow. Even while instrument approaches are more accurate, they take longer to complete, which slows down landings and raises the possibility of delays. This is why arriving planes are put in holding patterns to wait for their turn to land. For example, during a thunderstorm at an airport, aircraft in the vicinity might need to hold until the weather clears or the runway is deemed safe for operations. Similarly, strong crosswinds can prevent safe landings, forcing planes to circle until conditions improve. Even if weather conditions improve rapidly, the backlog of arriving aircraft can take time to clear, prolonging the need for holding. A specific example of weather-induced holding is during winter storms in northern regions, where snow removal operations and de-icing procedures add to the delay. Pilots will hold if the destination airport has temporarily closed a runway due to icy conditions. Airport capacity is another important factor in holding patterns. The sheer number of flights can overwhelm airports even on clear days. This problem frequently arises at major hubs like London Heathrow, which is one of the busiest airports in the world. In order to enhance efficiency, Heathrow alternates between arrivals and departures on its few runways. During peak times, such as the morning rush between 7 and 10 a.m., the airport receives a high number of long-haul flights from across the globe. Since these flights originate from distant locations, it is nearly impossible to perfectly time their arrivals, leading to holding patterns to manage the influx. Similar difficulties are encountered by airports such as Dallas-Fort Worth and Los Angeles International. 
particularly during periods of high travel demand. Before being given the all clear to land, pilots may have to wait for one or two racetrack patterns. Even though these delays might not seem like much, they are a necessary component in the complex dance that maintains the safe and effective air traffic flow. Less commonly, holding patterns are used to manage an aircraft's weight before landing. Every aircraft has a maximum landing weight, which must not be exceeded for a safe touchdown. If an aircraft carries more fuel than anticipated due to changes in the flight plan or unexpectedly strong tailwinds shorten the journey, its landing weight might exceed the allowable limit. In such cases, the pilot may request a holding pattern to burn off excess fuel and reduce the aircraft's weight. For long-haul flights, when pilots frequently store extra fuel as precaution against potential delays or rerouting, this situation is especially common. The aircraft might arrive at its destination heavier than anticipated if these delays do not occur. For instance, a trip from New York to London may see greater tailwinds than anticipated, which would reduce the amount of fuel used during the flight. The plane might have to hold for a brief time after arriving to make sure it satisfies the weight requirement before landing. While passengers are unlikely to notice these situations, they underscore the careful balance that pilots and air traffic controllers must maintain. Fuel management is a critical part of flight planning, and holding patterns for weight adjustments are an example of how pilots adapt to changing circumstances. But how does traffic control manage holding patterns? In order to ensure that aircraft travel through restricted airspace is safe and effective, air traffic control, or ATC, is essential in controlling holding patterns. ATC's duties go beyond only allocating holds. They also have to arrange intricate schedules, particularly for long-haul arrivals, prioritizing flights according to predetermined standards, and stay in close contact with the pilots. This delicate balancing act requires real-time decision-making, precision, and cutting-edge technology. In planes for to allow for the legally required separation, must since the pilots are unable ATC to maintain visual separation from other aircraft. Turn direction, and the if you're of each in the air and, and the weather required. conditions at your destination the begin to deteriorate, ATC will assign holding instructions to your pilot. In this state, a typical airliner loses about a mile in altitude for every 10 it moves forward, giving the pilot ATC is in close communication during the holding process to give updates on anticipated delays, weather, or modifications to the holding criteria. This ongoing dialogue ensures that both parties remain aligned and prepared for subsequent actions, such as clearing the aircraft to descend or approach. Prioritization is another critical aspect of how ATC manages holding patterns. Not all flights are treated equally in a holding scenario, so controllers must prioritize aircraft based on factors such as fuel levels, the nature of the flight, medical emergencies, high priority cargo, and proximity to their scheduled landing time. For example, a long haul flight with plenty of gasoline on board might be allowed to leave the hold later than a flight with limited fuel reserves. In a similar vein, aircraft transporting patients in severe condition or medical supplies that must be delivered quickly are usually given priority to land before less urgent passengers. Given how quickly things can change in the skies, this prioritization process calls for quick thinking and good judgment. Flow management is another tool ATC uses to reduce the need for extended holding. When an airport is congested, ATC collaborates with departure control at other airports to manage the timing of flights heading toward the crowded destination. For instance, a flight departing from a nearby airport may be delayed on the ground to create more spacing in the arrival sequence. This preemptive action minimizes airborne delays and reduces the duration of holding patterns for planes already en route. Additionally, ATC uses advanced software to monitor real-time air traffic and adjust flows dynamically, ensuring that the airspace remains safe and efficient. The duties of ATC are further complicated by long-haul arrivals. These flights, which frequently go across continents, are planned to land at key hubs like Dubai International or London Heathrow at particular times. The intended order of arrivals, however, may be upset by elements like shifting winds, different departure timings, or weather conditions while traveling. Then, in order to maintain a smooth flow into the destination airport, ATC must balance these long-haul planes with domestic and short-haul arrivals. To control airplanes entering the same airspace from several angles, this calls for exact scheduling and ongoing modifications. So, aircraft holding patterns are an essential part of aviation, ensuring safety and efficiency when challenges like weather, congestion, or operational adjustments arise. While they may seem inconvenient or puzzling to passengers, 
These maneuvers are carefully managed by skilled pilots and air traffic controllers to maintain order in the skies. For travelers, it's a reassuring reminder of the layers of safety built into modern aviation. Have you ever experienced a holding pattern during a flight? Share your thoughts and stories in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating insights into aviation. Until next time, thanks for watching.